Hello everyone, myself Simran and I am going to teach you science. So students, in the last class we have started the chapter number 4 and we have learned the concept of chapter number 4 that is sorting material into groups. Alright students, in that particular chapter we have talked about different different type of things like appearance, solubility, insolubility, floating and sinking property, transparency, okay and so many things and the properties on the basis of what we can separate different different materials into different different groups. Alright students, so today we will be discussing about the exercise of this chapter, okay the question and answer portion of this particular chapter. So let's start. First question says, name five objects which can be made from wood. Now in this particular question you have to answer me what are the materials or what are the objects that are made up of wood. Okay, the material wood is used in making what kind of objects this question is asking. The answer is table, chair, cupboard, almira and desk. Okay. So, different different objects like chair, table, almira, door, frame, window, desk, so many things are there that can be made from wood. Alright students, so this was all about question number 1. So, let us move to the next question, the question number 2. This question, question number 2 says, select those objects from the following which shines. There are 4 objects mentioned, okay. The objects are glass ball, steel spoon, plastic toy and cotton shirt, okay. You are given the 4 things and you have to tell which of the objects are shining or which of the objects have luster. We all know that luster is something that has the shine on the metal surface, okay. It is the shine on a surface of any metal. Generally, these are metals, okay. So, the objects that are shining are firstly glass ball shines yes glass ball shines right so the objects that are shining are glass ball okay plastic toy plastic toy do not shine okay so it is not at all shining all right students next steel spoon you all have st seen steel spoon at your homes, right? So, that particular sp steel spoon shines, okay? So, it has luster on its surface, okay? So, the steel spoon is also a shining object. Next students, cotton shirt. Cotton shirt has shine on its surface, is it right? No students cotton shirt do not shine okay so the correct answer for this object that select those objects from which shine is there okay these particular objects like glass ball and steel spoon are shining objects all right students so this was all about question number two so let's move to the question number three the question says match the objects given below with the materials from which they could be made it is mentioning that you will be given two columns and on that particular columns, in one column you will be given the materials and on the second column you will be given the objects and you have to match what objects are made from what materials, okay. So remember an object could be made from one or more materials, okay. It is given that any object can be made from one material or more material, okay, that we have discussed in our chapter also, okay. And a given material could be used for making many objects, that is also obvious. This is not like that now. Paper is used for making paper, okay, making notebooks. It can also be used for making calendars, okay. So, a given material can be used for making one or more objects, okay. So, let us match it up. Start. So, these are the objects and these are the materials. You have to tell me this object is made from what kind of materials or how many materials. We have to match that up, okay, students. So, just let us start. Firstly, we will be talking about a book. A book is an object that can be made from the materials glass, no, wood. Yes, a book can be made from wood, okay. Paper, yes, correct. A book is made up of paper, leather, no and plastics, no. So, the correct answer is 
if I am marking it 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Okay, students. So, book is made up of paper and wood. Alright, students. Wood and paper. Okay. And I can also do like that. 1 and 1 because I am talking about this particular book. Okay, students. So, next tumbler. What is tumbler made up of? What kind of objects are used for making tumbler? Okay. Tumbler can be made up of glass. Tumbler can be made up of wood. Tumbler can't be made up of paper. Tumbler can't be made up of leather. Tumbler can be made from plastics. Okay. So, tumbler can be made from glass, wood and plastics. Alright, students. So, just write number 2, number 2 and number 2. Alright, students. So, this was all about tumbler. Alright, students. So, next, a chair. A chair can be made from materials like glass, no. Wood, yes. A chair can be made from wood. Paper, no. Leather, no. Plastics, yes. A chair can be made up of wood and plastics. Alright, students. So, chair can be made up of wood and plastics. All right. So, we will mark number 3 over here. All right, students. So, like that. Okay. Now, we are talking about toy. A toy can be made up of glass. It can be made up of wood. It can be made up of paper. It can be made up of leather and it can be made up of plastics. Okay. So, a toy is made up of any kind of material, okay, mentioned here. So, toy, glass, wood, paper, leather and plastics, okay. So, write 4, 4, 4, 4 and 4, alright students. And the last part, that is shoes. Shoes are made up of, made up of? Glass, no. Wood, no. Paper, no. Leather, yes. Plastics, yes. Okay. So, shoes can be made up of leather and plastics. Okay. Number 5 and number 5. So, this was all about the question number 3. Alright, students. Very easy. You have to just match the columns up. What kind of objects are made up of what kind of materials? Alright, students. Now, we will discuss the next question. Next question says, State whether the statements given below are true or false. Okay. There are the statements given. Okay. You have to firstly think in your mind whether this statement is right or wrong. Okay. So, first statement. Stone is transparent while glass is opaque. Is this right? Do you have observed that stone is transparent? If I have a huge stone in my hand and I put it like here. Okay. This way. Am I able to see the rest of the objects in front of me? No, because stone is opaque substance. From that particular stone or that particular opaque substance, I am not able to see the rest of the objects. So, stone is an opaque object, okay? Whereas glass is transparent, okay? We have discussed that particular thing in our chapter also, okay? So, this thing is false. Alright students, so this is false. Next, a notebook has luster while eraser does not. A notebook has luster? No students, a notebook does not shine. Okay, it do not have luster. So, this is false. Next students, chalk dissolves in water. Chalk does not dissolve in water because it is an insoluble substance. When you dissolve the chalk in the water, it will not get disappeared. So, chalk is not at all an insoluble substance. Also, chalk does not dissolve in water. So, this is also wrong or false. Alright, students. So, this is false. Okay. So, let us move to the next statement. Next statement says, a piece of wood floats on water. We have discussed the floating and sinking in the last lecture okay and in that particular lecture we have discussed about the floating and sinking property right floating and sinking property what it mean 
the things that remain on the topmost layer of the water are floating on the water and the things that just remains at the bottom of the water layer or the bucket is called sinking okay so a piece of wood floats on water right a piece of wood floats on water so this is true all right students so this is true next sugar doesn't dissolve in water sugar is something that is completely soluble in water you might have observed at your homes that you, when you put one particular spoon in a glass of water stir it well the sugar completely dissolve okay it completely disappears so this statement is false okay so sugar dissolves in water so this is false all right students so next part oil mixes with water oil mixes with water no students oil doesn't mix with water as oil is completely an insoluble substance okay so this is false next students sand settle down in water sand settle down in water this is right how sand is completely insoluble substance and when you stir well the sand in the water what happens the sand is heavy it just gets down to the water level okay and it is sinking okay so this is true sand settle down in water because it doesn't dissolve in water okay next vinegar dissolves in water this is also correct vinegar is completely soluble substance okay so it will completely dissolve in water so this is also true all right students so this was all about this particular true false section okay let's move to the next section what it says given below are the names of the some of objects and materials okay water basketball orange sugar globe apple and earthen pitcher group them as okay you are given some objects and materials okay these objects and materials okay students so now you have to group them okay you have to sort them up first according to first part you have to sort them as round shaped and other shaped okay so let's do particularly this part first so round shaped firstly students water water is round shape object no water has not any kind of shape okay basketball yes basketball is round next students orange orange is also a round object sugar is not round okay globe globe is also a round object okay apple yes it is round next earthen pitcher it is also round what is earthen pitcher the equipment made up of sand which is called ghada in hindi that is called earthen pitcher all right students it is used for cooling of water during summers okay so these are the round objects and the rest of the objects have other shapes okay that objects are other shape objects are what are left water and sugar all right students water and sugar so you can clearly see that the round objects are basketball globe orange apple and other picture and the other shaped objects are water and sugar all right students so this is the first part we have discussed the round shaped and other shaped objects all right students so next we are going to discuss the eatables and non eatables okay in this particular part you have to characterize or sort the materials according to the property of edibility okay so let's discuss that firstly we'll discuss eatables okay eatables are something that can be eaten okay so water yes water can be eaten up or edible basically basketball is not edible orange right orange is completely edible substance sugar it is edible globe no globe is also not edible or eatable okay apple yes 
uh, then picture no it also can't be eaten up okay so the eatable substances are water orange sugar and apple all right students next non eatables non eatable substances are those substances that can't be eaten up okay so what are left are non eatables basketball can't be eaten up okay globe can't be eaten up and left thing is earthen pitcher it also can't be eaten up okay so here are the eatables and non eatable substances e eatable substances are water orange sugar and apple whereas non eatables are basketball globe earthen pitcher all right students so this was all about question number 5 So let's move towards the question number six. Find the odd one out from the following. You have given some sort of objects, and you have to find odd one out. Okay. So first, chair, bed, table, baby, and cupboard. Read carefully. Chair, bed, table, baby, and cupboard. The option baby is odd. Why it is odd? because the rest of the objects are made up of wood whereas the baby is not made up of wood all right students so the answer is baby why because baby is not made up of wood all right students next rose jasmine boat marigold and lotus rose jasmine boat marigold and lotus the option number boat this is the thing or the object that is not a flower whereas rose jasmine marigold and lotus are all the flowers all right students so the odd one out is boat because boat is not a flower all right students next aluminum iron copper silver and sand aluminum iron copper silver and sand this option sand sand is odd why because all the rest of the options are metals whereas sand is not a metal okay so odd one out is sand because sand is not a metal all right students next sugar salt sand copper sulfate sugar salt sand and copper sulfate the again sand because the rest of the objects that are sugar salt and copper sulfate are completely dissolved in water these are soluble substances but sand does not dissolve in water so odd one out is sand add sand doesn't dissolves in water so students you can clearly see the odd one out options firstly baby was baby was odd one out by because baby is not made up of wood next bot because bot is not a flower next sand sand isn't a metal so that is why sand is odd thing sand doesn't dissolves in water so it is also odd one out all right students so this was all about the exercise of chapter number 4 in the next lecture we'll be discussing about that fifth chapter okay separation of substances all right students till then do study these particular four chapters at your home bye bye